Hello friends, welcome to this 15th lecture on complex analysis. Okay. In this lecture, we will study about the continuity of the functions, right? So basically what we have right now, we have a function from complex plane to complex plane. This is the scene. We already discussed what do we mean by saying that f has a limit at a point z0. Okay. Now we want to know what is the meaning of the term saying that f which is a function from c to c is continuous at a point z0. Okay. f is a function from c to c and we want to know what do we mean by saying that a function is continuous at a point z0 which is a complex number. So the literal meaning is that a function is said to be continuous at a point z0 if it behaves consistently in the neighborhood of z0. Okay. So for example in case of function of one variable we have this function from r to r we, we say that function is continuous at a point z0 at a point x0 if you don't have to pick your pen while drawing the graph of that function it means that the function behave behaves consistently in the neighborhood of x0 okay that is why you don't have to pick your pen while drawing the graph at the point x0 right similarly here uh, when we say that a function from c to c is continuous at z0 it means that it behaves con consistently in a neighborhood of z0 and we have already uh, discuss that in case of complex plane the neighborhoods are uh, square uh, these squares or circular neighborhoods and we will deal with circular neighborhoods so basically when we say that a function is continuous at a point z0 it means that the function behaves consistently in this neighborhood of z0 right in some neighborhood of z0 okay so this is the form uh, literal definition of continuity and formally mathematically we will have again we will come with epsilon and delta things right whether you like it or not but that are uh, the mathematical definitions so what is the formal definition of continuity so we say that a function f okay let a function f is defined in a neighborhood of z0 of course before defining continuity you should have this definition that function should be defined in a neighborhood of z0 then f is continuous at z0 if limit of fz as z goes to z0 is equal to f of z0 this what is this this thing is this thing is this thing tells you the behavior of f in the neighborhood of z0 okay so basically this thing left hand side is uh, a measurement of behavior of f in a neighborhood of z0 and this is the behavior of f at z0 and we want that at every point in the neighborhood behavior should be same as the behavior of f at z0 so basically we are uh, consistent with these two definitions which is mathematical and literal okay so this is the mathematical definition of continuity of a function at a point z0 that is you should have limit of fz at z tending to z0 should be equal to f of z0 this is what do we mean by continuity of the function from c to c you have a function from c to c this is the meaning of the continuity of the function from c to c so basically literal meaning is that your function should behave consistently in this neighborhood of z0 okay right okay so basically this was the uh, in the last slide the continuity the definition of continuity continuity was at a point okay now suppose we have a, a subset s of c this is a subset s of c then we say that a function is continuous on this subset s of c if it is continuous at each point of that set okay so you have suppose you have a set c which is a subset of uh, sub, uh, you have a set s which is a subset of c c is your set of all complex numbers okay then we say that a function is continuous on this set s if it is continuous at every point of that set right then we have nice properties of continuous functions what are those properties i will not prove these properties these are very simple to prove so first property is suppose you have two functions f and g which are continuous at a point z0 then their sum and their difference they are also continuous functions at the point z0 okay so f and g continuous at z0 implies f plus g is continuous at z0 and f minus g is continuous at z0 and further product of the continuous functions is continuous and further uh, quotient of continuous functions is continuous provided the denominator is non-zero right so these are simple properties these are easy to prove okay? and so you can prove it right then we have this next property that a constant function is always continuous in whole complex plane so this is easy to see actually constant function for example if you have f of z is equal to 3 okay so it will behave consistently at all the points of c 
okay it is always 3 it is not arbitrary at any point so by definition it should be continuous at each point of c mathematically also you can prove that so you have to uh, you have to note this thing that whenever you have a continuous function you have a constant function it is always continuous on all points of c okay so constant functions are always continuous okay then you can also prove that f of z is equal to z this is a linear function this is also continuous on c okay f of z is equal to z okay this is a continuous function on c this is also easy to see you can prove it right then uh, next thing is uh, so, uh, now we have Z, uh, f of z is equal to a naught where a naught is the constant we have seen that this is a continuous function then f of z is equal to z this is a continuous function and we have seen that the product of two continuous function is continuous function so it means that some constant times okay if i multiply z with the constant a1 then this is continuous this is continuous therefore the product is continuous on all c like on every point of at every point of c okay now this is continuous and a1 z is continuous sum of two continuous functions is continuous therefore we have a0 plus a1z is continuous at every point of c right okay further z is continuous f of z is continuous and we have seen that product of two continuous functions is continuous so if i multiply these two functions i'll get z square is continuous at every point of c so now we have this as a continuous function then we have z square is continuous so I can multiply it with a constant a to z square that is also continuous. Now I can add these two functions. This is a continuous function. This is a continuous function. So I'll get a continuous function. So I have a naught plus a one z plus a two z square is a continuous function at every point of C. Right. And I can generalize this thing and I can have that all the polynomial functions of all the degrees are continuous functions at every point of C. Right. Now you have a function f. This is your function f which is a polynomial and you have a function g which is also a polynomial and we have seen that quotient of continuous functions is a continuous function provided the denominator is non-zero. So we have this rational number, uh, rational functions which are continuous uh, provided the denominator is non-zero. So we, we reach at a conclusion that polynomial functions are continuous, rational functions are continuous wherever denominator is non-zero. Okay, at, uh, Polynomial functions are continu continuous at every point of C and these are continuous whenever denominator is non-zero okay so these are the uh, things we uh, we can note about continuous functions now let us look at this example this is a problem that we have to find the limit as z tends to 2 eta okay for these functions so let us look at this the first function is f1 z is equal to z square minus 2z plus 1 and you are asked to find out the limit of this function as z, z tends to 2 eta right now you can see that this is a polynomial function therefore this is a continuous function and by definition of continuous function limit of the function as z tending to 2 eta is the, the value of the function at that point okay the polynomial function is continuous at every point and in particular continuous at z is equal to 2 eta therefore by definition of continuity definition of continuity limit of f z as z tends to 2 eta is the value of the function at that point so the what is the value of the function at that point this is 2 eta square minus 2 into 2 eta plus 1 so you can just manipulate and you'll get this as your limit okay so you can see that the definition of continuity and knowing that polynomial functions are continuous will make your life simple when you have to compute the limits now let us see at this function we have to compute the limit of this function you have this function z plus 2 eta upon z you have to compute the limit of this function as z tend to 2 eta now this is a rational function and we have seen that rational functions are continuous at the point where denominator is non-zero now when z is equal to 2 eta denominator is non-zero therefore this is a function which is continuous at z is equal to 2 eta therefore again we will use the definition of continuity therefore limit is equal to value of the function now what is the value of the function we just insert z is equal to 2 eta so you will get 2 eta plus 2 eta upon 2 eta so this is 2 okay so in this case also we can compute the limit by using the definition of continuity of the rational functions now let us look at the third function you are asked to find the limit of the function when z is, uh, as z tends to 2 eta you can see that this is a rational function and this is not continuous whenever the denominator is not is 0 
you can see that denominator is 0 at z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2 iota okay so this function is not defined at z is equal to 2 iota so we cannot just insert the value of 2 iota uh, z, z is equal to 2 iota to compute the limit because this function is not continuous at 2 iota right so how do we com uh, compute the limit you can just factorize the numerator and you can com uh, cancel the common factor you will get the limit as 2 but here you cannot use the definition of continuity because this function is not continuous at 2 iota right now you can note one thing if we redefine this function this this function as such this function as such is not continuous at 2 iota but we can redefine this function f of z as z square plus 4 upon z into z minus 2 iota whenever z is not equal to 2 iota and you can define it as 2 when, I, when z is equal to 2 iota so when you define your function like this this becomes a continuous function okay so for such functions the discontinuity at z is equal to 2 iota is called removable discontinuity because you can actually remove that discontinuity by redefining the functions okay so we will learn about this removable discontinuity in detail later okay so friends uh, now uh, we will uh, come back to the subject of complex analysis after a while now i am uh, working on major theory so i'll make lectures on ma major theory and we'll come back to complex analysis after a while with analyticity okay so we basically we have defined the concept of continuity and after that comes differentiability okay in case of real functions and in case of complex functions we have the concept of analyticity, analyticity. we will come back to this con concept after a while okay so you have to wait for that thank you so much for watching the videos